the Hotel Cecil has been in the news quite a bit lately. Here is our story. Beth, Murray, and I were fortunate or unfortunate enough to be some of the last visitors that spent the night here. And we lived to tell about it. We were staying on a suite on the 15th floor and Beth was dating the architect for the building at the time. So we were privy to some sensitive information that we're going to be able to share with you through our slides and our different images today. First we drove by and of course there was no doorman or porters and the nearby lots looked like they lacked security. So we parked the car in underground parking at Pershing Square and summons an Uber. Uber. It took a few times because no one wanted to take us right into the middle of Skid Row. After we got there, within minutes, we saw LAPD in full-blown riot gear. It was a staging area for the protesters who had already closed the 101 freeway after the concerns of the election of Donald Trump. After we checked in to the Hotel Cecil, we went over to the elevators and it was eerie being in the same elevators that Elisa Lamb had tried to take her last ride. So the architect that I was dating at the time was brought in from San Francisco um, and he was a cost analysis. So his job was to determine how much it was going to cost to renovate the Cecil Hotel. And they were gonna start on the 15th floor and they also were going to do a roof pool and bar. So he actually spent a lot of time on the roof. And he always said that he felt that Elisa Lamb was able to get to the roof and get into the water tanks. There's been a number of questions about the fire escape to the roof and the rooftop area. And it's actually very accessible. There's no alarms going to it. And it doesn't seem risky at all to climb those five or six rungs it takes to get up to the roof from one of the floors. Joe and I actually saw the fire escape window that Elisa Lamb probably went out on the fifth floor. The platforms on the fire escapes are sturdy. They have a pretty good size to them. The building was built in the traditional E shape of that time. And so if I had to render a guess, I would say that she was in the, one of the middle fire escape. This was one of the scariest Joe Ventures ever. We rode the infamous elevator. We showered with water from the rooftop tank. We saw the easy access to the fire escape. The 15th floor owner's suite on first appearance seemed free of all evil. However, the lights flickered in and out in our suite. The TV seemed possessed and our photos all had weird orbs. We truly believe this property has the potential to be the grand lady that she was originally planned to be. But with the right developer working a concert with the city to address the challenges of Skid Row, we think it can become a reality. I look forward to attending a fancy rooftop celebration, maybe when our far fair city is hosting the Olympics.